What? It's National Word Nerd Day! I wore my party dress! Happy National Word Nerd, Word Nerd Day! This is our Christmas, and to celebrate it, we have a secret hidden word or words in tonight's game, okay? A game within a game, if you will. It's gonna be fun. And if you just played HQ Trivia, let's just say it has to do with our game. Okay? It's gonna connect to it. The content of the puzzles does not relate, but they will reveal a hidden word at the end. I love mysteries. Are you in for this? To guide you through the scavenger hunt of a words game, I am your host, the queen of words, Anna Roisman. You better find me right here and see if I announce that I'm leaving my royal family sometime soon. I'm not. <laughs> it's made up. I can't. Tonight, I will show you 12 puzzles. When you make it to the end of this journey, you're gonna take home some of that prize, which is $1,000. Ooh, maybe you can make bets on what the hidden word is, like right now with all your family members. Also, you start tonight's game with five strikes on top of the strikes you already have from leveling up on season 13. Season 13, where your puzzle solving skills are seen. It's a poem I wrote today. It's time to spin that wheel around my face. Earlier today, we not only wished you a happy National Word Nerd Day, we asked for the logophiles, the etymologists, to show themselves. Some of you used your words in a very compelling way, and I'm gonna shout out, oh my girl, Mommy, Mommy SJ. She said that hubby and I met because of our shared love of words. He listed some of his favorite lexicon in his dating profile. It ensourced me, ensorcelled me. I can't even read the words. It ensorcelled me, and I used several of his favorite words to message him for the first time. The rest is history. I love you, mommy, SJ. Shout out to you, you're gonna get an extra life. Also, if you feel like shopping for an extra life or a super spin, you gotta go to the HQ shop and go and get one. You can buy them right now. That's so cool. That's very new, very posh for 2020. Right now though, it is time for the first puzzle of the night. The faster you solve, the more points you will earn. Some of you will become a famous word nerd tonight. Remember though, there's a hidden word within the puzzles. This will be fun for you. Your first hint is skater boy. Type in the letters P, T, and B. This isn't one of Avril Lavigne's fantasies, okay? This is a real boy, or a real boy in a cartoon, a cartoon boy who's been on TV for many, many years. One of America's classic 10-year-olds. Does Springfield ring a bell? Because you could find him there along with the whole family but he is a skater boy. I said, see you later. No, I'm talking about Bart Simpson. Check it out. Don't critique my technique. I'm no geek. I make the principal nervous. Oh, you know, Bart can spit some raps. Bart was so good. That was his rap battle. 30,565. You solved the puzzle. You like the Simpsons. You're a fan. Hey, before we move on to puzzle two, have you played HQX yet? Maybe you played earlier tonight. Guess what? Tap that button right here and subscribe so you know when the next game is, which is Sunday at 8 p.m. Don't miss out on HQX. I need Bart to write a rap about it. <laughs> All right, puzzle two. You know what makes a good song? That underlying beat. I'm talking, who's got the beat? Who's got the beat? Oh, I love this puzzle. This is a group of instruments that when played together, they make up the foundation of a song, okay? Usually in jazz or pop groups, they have this. I know you've heard of this. I'll give you a hint. Maybe, uh, maybe there's some drums involved, right? Maybe a bass, maybe a guitar. Think about it. I know some famous beats. I'm talking about the rhythm section. Dun, dun, dun. Another one bites the dust. That's not, that's not the answer. But that is the rhythm section that I just thought of. 17,400. You got it. You nailed it. You found your beat and you typed in those letters. All right, since it's Throwback Thursday, I'm taking us way, way back to something that's not really around anymore. Neanderthals, for example. Neanderthals for 420. Have you been watching Jeopardy? All right, there's a whole history that happened before people like you and me came into existence. Do you remember the Paleolithic times? Those who inhabited it are no longer. We've really evolved over time. Neanderthals, for example. I'm talking about extinct humans. 
Extinct humans. Neanderthals were a version of, of humans that are now extinct. Also, Homo habilis, if I said that correctly, right? Upright man, there's a bunch of them. If you know more, hey, let me know in the chat. But 15,317 of you are not extinct humans. In fact, you're humans who are moving on to puzzle four. All right, here's a National Word Nerd Day present from me to you. This puzzle is about cosmopolitan reading. Maybe you know Cosmo, but I'm talking about a different one. One that's full of satire and culture and great articles. Maybe you subscribe to this online or get a hard copy in the mail like the olden days. I love it. You know why I love it? Because I live here. Ooh, good hint. I'm talking about New Yorker magazine. Ooh, they always have such good covers on the New Yorker and the cartoons are amazing. That was Obama uh, with Santa Claus. That was a beautiful cover on the New Yorker. 11,946 solved the puzzle. Do you guys like the New Yorker? Are you fans? If so, just write NY cartoon in the chat or something. All right, I'm not sure where you actually read your news. Maybe you read it online or on actual paper, but wouldn't a crazy headline be malls and malls? <laughs> it's also your hint, but it could be a scary story. I'm talking about a movie, one that is really just best described by this hint. It's been made a few times, it's been made, it's been remade, it's pretty frightening. There's also a parody version of this, Malls and Malls. Maybe you're a huge fan, it's kind of got a cult following. I'm talking about Dawn of the Dead. I only saw Shaun of the Dead, but Dawn of the Dead. There are zombies, it takes place in a shopping mall. They get mauled in a mall. You get it? Mall and mall. 11,505. Got it, right? Dawn of the Dead. I like Shaun of the Dead. That was the funny one. Dawn of the Dead's the scary one. All right, this next hint just makes me want to sing. Where is this place with amber waves? I don't sing it. I'd go anywhere with waves right now, you know, to escape the cold. It's winter. It's not fun. This is reminiscent of a popular tune. You've probably heard it before at major events, or maybe in your elementary school classrooms or assemblies. It's a classic. I know you know. I'm talking about the title of a song, and obviously it's America the Beautiful. Here she is. Here's my girl. Oh, beautiful. For spacious skies, for amber waves of grain. 11,119, you're beautiful. America the beautiful is the answer. I just wanted to give you like a little Beyonce, you know, to, to sing us through. Hey, you know what's more beautiful though than that song? Seeing you succeed. Look at this, you're already halfway through this game. You're doing it, six more, until the word nerd after party, word nerd after party. But how tough will this game get? Did you figure out the hidden word yet? Did you? You better try or else you'll get this detective's dismissal. Uh -oh. This is an old saying, one that may have derived from a famous detective who's dismissing something. But how hard is this one, right? It should be really easy to solve. Also, what this answer means. It's easy to solve. Detective's dismissal. And the answer is I'm going to play it for you. Here you go. Elementary, my dear Watson. This man has been dead for at least two hours. Elementary, my dear Watson. Thank you, Sherlock Holmes. It's elementary, my dear Watson. If someone out there is named Watson, and that was an easy puzzle for you, this is this is the quote of the night. 9,593. It was elementary for you. My dear word, nerds, you got it. And if you're a millennial like me, there were a few different trends when we were in school. Okay, tell me, were you a messenger bag or a backpack kid? It's helpful to have a backpack when you're traveling, right? Because you have your hands free. This is a famous kid who's been around all over the place, many, many places. And you know what, just like you right now, they're usually solving puzzles. Backpack kid. You know this answer. I'm talking about the very famous Dora the Explorer. It's Explorer, but I always want to say Dora the Explorer. 
8,484. Solved the puzzle. Any Dora fans out there? You know what? I love the book bag emoji. Throw that one in the chat. Make it rain Dora, Dora book bags. It's also a character on the show. All right, everyone has their thing that they like to say over and over and over again. So can you tell me this snaky slogan? This is something that's been around for a very long time. Hashtag throwback. It's a slogan on a very historical item. One that I'm sure you've seen, cause man, it is bright. Did you know that Ben Franklin used to write about snakes? It's true. Trivia and words, hello. The answer is, don't tread on me. Oh, there it is on the Gadsden flag. Don't tread on me. It's a historical American flag named after a politician and a general. 7,730 got it right. Tell me though, when you read that though, I always want to say, don't tread on me. Don't tread on me. It's not, it, that's not the lyric, but it's what my brain went to. All right, just like this game with a secret word, remember? Here's another way to deliver a secret with covert message tools. Ooh, these can help you keep something under the radar. If you have all of the tools, you can decipher what it's trying to say. There's kind of like an element of magic to this, which is pretty cool. So make sure you write something very special. Covert message tools. If only we had this you know, to give all you, to give all the answers away, you would need invisible ink, pen, and paper. Could you imagine if I had invisible ink, pen, and paper, and I wrote down all of the answers to tonight's game and like put it on Twitter and you had the right glasses or goggles to see it? I don't know, I'm just thinking of the future here. 7,087, you got it right. You're moving on to puzzle 11. All right, maybe that secret message written in invisible ink wasn't even something you understood because you needed Something to translate or traducir. Oh, this is a very specific tool. A tool that helps a person understand what the words are saying. And it's National Word Nerd Day, but when is International Word Nerd Day? Right? Or should I say Internacional? As we said, traducir. Who knows it? This is a tough one, but I like it. Why, well, if you're a logophile, you probably have an English to Spanish dictionary. English to Spanish dictionary, it translates for you. There are websites that do this too. 5,731. Muy bueno! Yo estudié español en la escuela, pero no recuerdo mucho. I did though, I did a lot. <laughs> Whether you speak Spanish or English, you know what the only words I'm seeing right now are? Oh, I'm seeing final puzzle, el puzzle final. I don't know why I said puzzle differently. I don't know puzzle in Spanish. If you've been solving the secret word within the game, if you played trivia tonight, then this should wrap up really nicely for you. It's satisfying. The final puzzle has to do with these musical protagonists. Musical protagonists has to do with the hidden word. Tell me, did you have pasta and wine for dinner tonight? Because that should put you in the mood for this song. And you know what I wanna know? I want to know something. You're going to have to send me a photo after the game. Hashtag throwback Thursday. Were any of you king and queen of your prom? Because I'll tell you, the final answer in tonight's game is Billy Joel's Brenda and Eddie. Oh, you remember scenes from an Italian restaurant. All of the puzzles tonight spelled out Brenda and Eddie, 3,287, you solved the game. You got it right. You're winners tonight, baby. Brenda and Eddie, in the summer of <laughs> You know, bottle of red, bottle of white. You're taking home 31 cents tonight. Big congratulations to Chad 1M. You know, you must know your Billy Joel. 31 cents in second place and druggish. I don't know about, or ND ruggish, we'll go with that. 31 cents, second place, best Ken ever, coming in hot in, thir in third place. Hey, did you see Ken Jennings on Jeopardy? He's another best Ken. <laughs> you did it, that is the game for tonight. Hopefully you had fun finding that, you know, secret hidden Billy Joel related theme. 
Uh, now I get to sing, good night, my word nerds, now it's time to sleep. That's another Billy Joel song for another day. Thank you so much for playing. Happy National Word Nerd Day to all the lugophiles, to all the etymologists, to all the smart people, to you and lovers of classic rock. I had the best time. Now I'm going to go listen to that song, Scenes from, Italian Re Scenes from an Italian Restaurant, on repeat. Maybe I'll get Matt to sing it with me. That would be fun. I'm Anna Roisman. You better find me here on social, baby, because there's nothing I love more than spending time reading words on apps, seeing what words define my future above my head, right? That's such a trend right now on Instagram. I will see you back here, I don't know, maybe this weekend. If I can stay up late, that is. Anyone here a fan of After Dark? Mm. I am. Bring a bottle of red or a bottle of white. Otherwise, I'll see you Tuesday night right here, 9.30 p.m. for more HQ words. Have a wordy, wonderful weekend. I love you so much. Good night. <laughs>